If you think the answer is four, you're absolutely wrong. Yeah, I know, most people look at this and think it's obvious. The problem is eight minus 10, open parentheses, eight minus 10, close parentheses, right? So you go, okay, eight minus 10 is negative two, and inside the parentheses, eight minus 10 is also negative two. Then you multiply negative two times negative two, and boom, you get four. Sounds totally right, until you actually slow down and check what's really happening. And hey, my friend, only 0.5% of people who watch actually subscribe, and I'm honestly trying hard to reach my first 1,000 subscribers. So if you're enjoying these little math mind twisters, please hit that subscribe button. It really means a lot. Okay, back to the point. So here's where the mistake happens. The problem 8 minus 10, open parentheses, 8 minus 10, close parentheses, looks simple, but it's sneaky. Let's unpack it carefully using the order of operations, PEMDAS, which stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication, and division from left to right, and addition and subtraction from left to right. First, we deal with what's inside the parentheses. That's 8 minus 10, which equals negative 2. So now our expression becomes 8 minus 10 times negative 2. Now this is where people usually trip up. The term 10 times negative 2 doesn't mean subtraction. It means 10 multiplied by negative 2. So that's negative 20. Now the expression becomes 8 minus negative 20. And we all know that subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So 8 minus negative 20 turns into 8 plus 20, which equals 28. So the correct answer is 28, not 4. I know, that's way different than what most people expect. If you don't believe it, try typing it exactly like that into your calculator. You'll see it gives 28. And if you still have any doubts, or you think your logic makes more sense, go ahead and tell me in the comments. I'll read every single one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Tricky Math Challenge.